this is Brian with Brian B's Move of the Week, and we are finally back. I just saw a bunch of you guys up in Michigan Classic, and people are asking why we hadn't put out videos in a couple weeks, and it's basically because I was waiting for my new microphone and camera to come in, so we've got an upgraded version of this. We're also going to try to have a, a more upgraded format in terms of having a, a preview up front of the pattern, and then we're going to go ahead and break it down, where usually we get to the hard stuff at the end. We're going to preview the cool kid stuff up front, and then we're going to go ahead and break it down. So we're going to work off a hustle whip. We're just going to jump right to the cool stuff, and then we'll go back and break it down. So we had a hustle whip. We let a rock and go. Bang. Yes. Then we had another one where we went over the head for the duck and the free spin. And off we go. So let's break it down. First, we have the hustle whip. Oh, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just basic footwork for both of us, just at a two hand hold. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we added an inside turn to that. One, two, three, and four. She's prep four on the right foot. We're going to take this over for five, for six, and we're going to anchor seven and eight. So we did that from the other side. We had a one, two, three, and four. She's prepped. I take this over for five, for six. We anchor seven and eight. Then we took that to a rock and go where we took her out of the anchor step. One, two, three, and four, five, six. At this point, I'm going to over rotate this seven and eight to pull her out of the anchor step. Free spin nine and ten, eleven and twelve. If we did this from the opposite side, one, two, three, and four of five, six, over rotate, seven and eight, free spin, nine and ten, eleven and twelve. Then we added the duck. One, two, three, and four, five, six, we over rotate, seven and eight. Her right shoulder, as she gets that right shoulder, triple step, she ducks, and then we anchor step. So we did that from the other side. One, Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve. So let's talk about that duck coming towards the camera. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Triple. I'm going to take this around this path. Step and anchor step. So a tip for that, if we do this on the other side, three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. A tip for this, triple. As the girl, you're going to leave this elbow up. If I want to be really slick, I can keep this tight to her armpit, and she has to really duck to get over the, or rather under the arm. But triple. If I want to go a little higher towards the elbow, then she barely has to duck. So that's usually my first go-to option is to do that a little bit higher. Cool. So one more time. Cool kid way. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve. Then we have the outside turn option. Simple outside turn first. One, two, three, and four. She's prepped. I change this hand for five, for six. We anchor seven and eight. If we do that from the other side. Oh, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we're going to over rotate that with the duck. One, two, three, and four, five, six. I'm going to reach across myself to duck her for seven and eight. We free spin nine and ten, eleven and twelve from the other side. One, two, three, and four, five, six. So I have to work with this right hand across so I can get down into her tricep area as we triple step. I'm going to underhook that arm, free spin, triple step, anchor step. Final time towards the camera so you can kind of see the loop action. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, triple step. One final angle, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, triple, ha, huh. and a new dance level patented ending. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. She's got me dancing. She's got